These are the mattress support slats out of an old bed frame that someone was tossing out. I used a couple of these to make a couple of those. And when I was coming up with a design that I thought I might want to make a video on, I thought that this would be a good opportunity for me to show you how I take something in its simplest form and then add upon it to come up with a completely different design. And if you're new to woodworking, in my opinion, if you can get a hold of that one concept, then the world is open to you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run these through the table saw to straighten the edges. I have an upcoming video to show you how I do that. And then I'm gonna glue a couple of them together to give me the width that I need. Next, a couple passes through the planer and they're ready to go. I wasn't worried about planer snipe because I knew I needed to square them up on the table saw anyway. Two birds, one stone. I want both peg racks to be 18 inches. This new storage is working out great. A chamfer bit will change the shadow line, but still allow me to hold true to the shaker style. Blue tape tells me how far to go. When it's stuck. I like to put glue on the walls of the hole, and then just enough on the peg to help slide it in place. I find this is the most consistent way to minimize glue squeeze out. This is that classic shaker style that seems to be so popular these days, and this would be great for a child's room. But what if you wanted something that was a bit more functional? So let's go back to the table saw and cut a few more parts down. These are gonna be the sides, and I'll cut rabbits in each, one for the shelf, the other rabbit for the back that'll have the peg. Cut a couple 45 degree angles in each side. Now this one I used a cherry danish oil instead of paint. After a few coats of varnish, you have your choice of shaker style peg racks that are good for kids' rooms, entryways. We even have one in our laundry room that holds not just coats, but clothespins and canning jar lids. If you'd like more information about these projects or other DIY projects, you can visit my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Until then, be safe.